Okay, today we're going to look at how do angles and triangles work with, with the stuff that we've already done. Um, we know that from before that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So for this one here, we've got an angle of 50, an angle of 60, so we know that the third angle has to be 180 minus 50 minus 60 would give us 70 degrees. So we know that that top angle is 70 degrees. So it's a rule that we've been using quite a while, and it's a fairly easy one. The only thing that we're going to look at today is how does this combine with what we already know. First thing we're going to do is actually figure out or prove why three angles in a triangle always add up to 180. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the triangle, and let's suppose I gave you two of the bottom angles. So let's suppose that one was 60 and this one was 50. How we're going to prove that that other angle has to then be 70 is we're going to make a parallel line. So if we add a parallel line to there and there, so now those two lines are parallel. Now what we do is if we sort of imagine these two parallel lines and this one was extended, we have the 60 degrees on the interior. So that means the alternate interior also has to be 60 from the rule that we did before and we can kind of extend it the same way for the other side so that means our 50 degrees its alternate interior that'll be the same will be right there it'll also be 50 so now that we have those two angles being the same we also know that all three angles in a straight line are supplementary right this whole thing is a straight line right we made a parallel line so that means that thing has to add up to 180 so therefore the missing angle is 180 minus 60 minus 50, which will give us our 70 degrees that we thought it was right off the bat. So you can see the 180 rule works for a triangle because basically we're just basically using um, parallel lines and alternate interior angles to help prove that. You don't need to understand the proof, but what you have to do is just remember that all angles in a triangle add up to 180, and you can use those to solve any kinds of problems. So let's do a couple quick examples. So the first one, let's suppose we have a triangle that looks something like that. And we're going to extend, we'll extend this line a little bit. Okay, so we've got, let's suppose this angle here is 138 degrees. Let's suppose this angle is 168. And the question is, what is that top angle up there? Okay, so using few different rules we've got we know that these here are supplementary so that means that little angle has to be 180 minus 168 which would be 12 degrees so we know that that one has to be 12 and then now we've got a triangle so we know that that top angle we can use a 180 rule for the triangle so we'd have 180 minus 138 minus 12 so that'll give us 150, so 180 minus 50 is 30. Okay, so you can see we're just sort of doing a couple different 180 rules. First of all, we did a supplementary angle, and then after that we used the 180 rule for the triangle to get the missing angle. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so let's suppose that was our triangle. We know that this angle here is 110. And this angle over here is 35, and the question is, what is angle X? Okay, so in this case, we got a few different ways of doing it. We can use the supplementary rule again, so we know that if that angle is 110, these two would then have to add up to 180, so that means that one has to be a 70. Or, we also know that these two have to add up to 180, so that means that one has to be a 70. Or, we could use the idea that the two 70s are opposite of each other. So, whichever rule you want, we can figure out that that would be a, a 70, and then after that, we now have our triangle, so 180 minus 70 minus 35, so that should give us 75 degrees for our missing angle, okay? So whether you use supplementary opposites, it doesn't make any difference. Just pick one of the proofs that we have and use that to solve. Let's do one more. Okay, so in this case, let's suppose we have 40 degrees up there, 35 degrees there, and the question is, what is X and Y? Okay, so the first thing is we've got our triangle, so let's do the 180 rule for the triangle. 
So 180 minus 40 minus 35 would give us 105. So we know that that angle of the triangle is 105. Now we know x has to be 105 because it's opposite. So those two are the same. And then we know y. And the 105 are supplementary, so therefore y would be 180 minus the 105, which is 75. Okay, so you get the idea. We're just combining old rules with the triangle rules that add up to 180, and that's it for today.